Hi guys, this is Skidflash here, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last part, we did some Click Clockwood stuff, and in this part, we're gonna actually be finishing off Click Clockwood. Finally, hooray! So, um, first of all, we have to first of all we have to finish off our business with you know Mr. Squirrel, and he wants six acorns, and I forgot the last acorn to get it last last part. So now you have to get it over there again. Those guys have such a nutty hitbox, cause like. <laughs> you could be right on it and it doesn't count as you getting it, it's weird. But whatever, we just helped our friend Mr. Squirrel, so now we get a Jiggy for that. And how much Jiggies does that put us in? As soon as he stops talking. Five, so we're halfway done. <laughs> Logically, you'd think this would take, um, you know, four parts. And it probably should, it probably could easily be four parts, because I do have some long part longer parts. But I'm um, actually, autumn and winter is where it really starts to pick up, so you know. That's good, and speaking of winter, wint wintum? <laughs> no, winter. You have to open up winter, so there's that. And we're gonna feed the bird uh, after falling and backtracking, inevitably. <laughs> um, but thank god for cutting, isn't that just fantastic? And my TV is so dark at this moment in time that I can't even see the nest, I swear, that's kind of a glaring problem. But whatever. We have 11 caterpillars, one more than we actually even need, so you know, we're just going above and, be above and beyond, I guess. I never mentioned this, or maybe I have, but the, that weird sound that the bird makes is just... <laughs> when he eats the food, it's just weird, like... Like, I guess... Do, you, do people actually make that sound? I, 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 I think we do. When we're over-dramatizing things, but whatever. <laughs> so, for giving him 10 caterpillars, he grows exponentially in size. That is, um... I don't think eating 10 caterpillars would have that effect, but who am I to judge? The, maybe these are magical caterpillars, just like Gobi's magical camel water. But whatever, he's going back to sleep. And then finally, for doing all of that in all the seasons, we can get a Jiggy for that. That's probably the most, the longest Jiggy to get. I can't think of anything that actually lasts all four seasons. Usually every, everything, I mean like the flower ends this season. We, we're gonna cash in the flower right now. After we could pay a good visit to like, you know, the bees, which we all killed. That was a lie, actually. I have no idea what we're doing. We're not going to be able to see the bees because we already cashed in on the bees, did we not? I think we did. Yeah, on our way up to the bird. So, um, that brings us to six jiggies, and I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do in fall. Um, there are two more jiggies we have to get in winter, and then there are two jiggies we have to get in spring, which I just chose not to get because, I don't know, backtracking? Looking back, that's actually pretty stupid of me, but, um, it sort of makes sense. No, actually, no, that makes sense in theory. Sort of. Just for the fact of the wit grunty switch. Which I learned is actually called the witch switch. Very clever game. <laughs> Never would have thought. Although looking back that seems pretty obvious. How could I not see that? Um, but yes, we're going into our last... We're changing seasons. I forgot to make that an overtly big thing in the past few parts. Just because coming back, I don't want to come back with some lame persona joke. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's that. Uh, so then, winter. Winter is actually easy nothing really no, there's really nothing going on in winter actually there's 16 notes you need to get which is fine um both of the em empty honeycomb pieces you're gonna actually find here and there's a flight pad so you literally have like maximum mobility not there's not that there's anywhere to go because most people are dead <laughs> as horrible it is to say um there are snowmen and those guys can be annoying you kill them with beak bomb as usual but actually because again this is um a file where i skipped a bunch of crap i don't actually have beak bomb and I thought you needed Beak Bomb, but you actually, you don't even need Beak Bomb this entire level, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, although it would help, honestly, because, you know, these guys can be annoying, but you don't need Beak Bomb. You can get around just fine without Beak Bomb. Although I do switch into my file with Beak Bomb, because I thought you needed Beak Bomb, but you don't. Just, you don't. <laughs> so there's a last, second, third to last Jinjo on top of the house, Mumbo's house. Um... The other two you will find in spring, so that's where the other jiggy comes from, I guess. And, um, flying up to the bird, we have Irie. He's all grown up, and now he's a big, majestic eagle. Look at him. Look at him. He looks so chill. I can never forget that voice of his as he majestically flies through the sky. That that wasn't very majestic, but, you know, still, look at him. He has some pretty small wings, given how big his friggin' body is. I mean, Kazooie's wingspan compared to, like, her body is, you know, pretty significant. Isn't that how birds are supposed to be? Not, not like I know anything about that, but... Um, I'm an ornithologist? Is that the word? Who knows? It sounds weird. I don't know why 
Who, who cares? <laughs> Tendrils. Um, but first of all, get the jiggy. We could have honestly gone this, like, almost any season, I'm pretty sure, but I never did. I guess it's just your reward to, for climbing up the top of, um, the claw, uh, the, the tree. Even though we do that every time just to see the bird. It's literally just a few steps. Actually, no, that's not true. Every season, it... Every season, um, more and more steps are available, so I guess it would be easier to do in winter than it is the other season. Not to say it's impossible in the other seasons. Or maybe it is, I don't know how much it is built in the other season. Probably is possible, though. Definitely. I mean, because there's a- yeah, yeah, I don't know what I'm- who knows? Just- I don't know, actually. That's a lie. That's a dirty lie. So, um, now we have- we got all- that's- we already got all the jiggies in winter, so we don't have to get anything more in winter. We can actually- no, we can't actually bail. We want to get all the notes, and that's what the important thing is to get. Again, only 16, and they're pretty easy locations. Um, first of all, I'm going to break into the squirrel's house for no apparent reason. I thought there was an empty honeycomb here, but no, it's just him chilling with his with his fly honey. <laughs> yeah, girl squirrel, you go get him. Um, but no, there's nothing in here. Like I thought there was, there wasn't. Disappointed me. Um, because it's actually somewhere else. There's... Both of your both of your anti honeycombs are gonna actually come from your animal buddies. One is gonna become from the squirrel and the other's gonna come from the good old beaver. Don't do the beaver one just yet though, and I have a good reason as to why. Um yeah, you can't break into his house. So I was this is where I'm actually freaking out, because I actually totally forgot where it was. I thought it was maybe in there, but it wasn't, even though I do check eventually. Um so yeah, I get these four notes and that brings this up to How is that possible? Uh, like, what? We got four. There's four on the branch, and then there's four. Oh, yeah, four on the steps by the bird, and then there's four over here. And then the last four, um. The last four are, are on top of that treehouse thing. Um, note to self do not break windows at an angle. I could have easily fallen right there. But I didn't. Because that's fine. So, yes, no empty honeycomb over here. I thought there was. There wasn't. So, this is just a wild goose chase at this point in time. Can you tell I'm doing post commentary? I think it's fairly obvious, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, pass, pass me, failing. Um, well, not necessarily failing, this video is still shorter than I thought it was going to be. Maybe because I just have way too much cutting, but, you know, still, it's a thing. I do, I do finish this stage, lovely enough, luckily enough. So this is where I was looking for, I just saw it in the gl the corner of my eye, is this window. Um, if I had Beak Bomb, I could actually break it, but I don't have Beak Bomb, so I'm just going to have to go up here and then break it that way, and then, you know, go back and then fly into it. Slightly, which is actually, I will say, it's probably easier than doing the beak bomb, because to this day, I am still bad at controlling the beak bomb. I'm not, I'm pretty sure there would be no reason why the beak bomb isn't in Banjo Tui, but I don't remember using the beak bomb as much in Banjo Tui as you do in this game. Mostly because they kind of push the, um, they push the egg gimmick with flying. Because one thing I didn't realize, I took, I took, I take this for granted when playing Banjo Tui, but you, aiming with eggs isn't really like, a thing in this game. In the other game, like, you have, like, you know, first-person view, but in this game, you don't. Which is fine in this game, because in this game, they really don't intend for you to, like, actually shoot eggs that precise, or for any reason at all. You know, it's not like Donkey Kong style, where you have to hit switches with your guns, or hit switches with your eggs. It's, no, you just hit, hit eggs with stuff. And so the, our last four d d d notes, that's what we're called, I can finally, these are the last four notes we'll ever have to get, I should at least call them by the right name. Or up on this thing, as soon as you land, go into Teluntra, that's the easiest way to do this without actually sliding off the house, because that can actually happen fairly often. And so now we have all 900 notes, not on this file, but just pretend that I got it on the other file, because I do end up doing that, and then we have all five, 900 notes. So the last thing we want to do is get our empty honeycomb from our friend the beaver. Do this last. Do this after you have all of your notes because this is a really easy way to die and I actually do die off screen because I have to do this again on my other file. And um, the reason I don't die now is because I, you know, dirty cheater as I am, give the bear lots of air. I have unlimited air. But if you don't have unlimited air, air burns twice as fast and you could easily die here because of the swimming controls. Not only that, there's kind of a dick thing about um because I got word, and that was the main problem. There's kind of a dick thing with um the the sheet of ice because you can't submerge anywhere. You can only submerge in certain places, and that certain places can be problematic. This is weird. If I had full health, I wouldn't be getting another empty honey a honeycomb piece. I don't know why. It's like you don't get you don't get eight. It makes no sense because you start out with five, 
which means you can you and you max out at eight, which means you can get three. Three times six is eighteen. So then, the twenty-four, getting twenty-four honeycombs. I don't see if there's a point. It might have something to do with actually getting um the red honeycombs, which I'll explain later. But now you'll notice that this like hexagonal like place is the only way to actually remerge. What's the opposite of submerge? I don't know. But the thing is, you have to be really careful with that if you're not cheating like I am. Um, because if you submerge by the corner, like, I guess Banjo and Kazooie just cannot submerge by corners, they'll actually dive again, and that will kill you. It killed me twice. It was kind of annoying. This is actually my file with, um, with my completed file. I did everything I had to do. I got all the notes and all the jiggies again. Well, except the jiggies I haven't gotten yet. And now I'm looking for the Grunty Switch, which I had no idea where it was the entire game, and I actually found it on accident. It's right here. I don't know. I think it's only in winter. I don't know where this is in the other season. Actually, I don't think it's... I honestly don't know, but just get it during winter, because I know it's here during winter. And that gives us our final Grunty Switch jiggy thing. Um, so yeah, we'll be getting that later. But as I was saying, yes, you die. And I actually did die. I died quite a bit. I died twice. Um... So despite so because of that I actually lost all my notes and I would ha I would have had to recollect them all again if I didn't get all the hundred before that. So make sure you do that. Sadly though, what I learned is that um is that if you do that if you do die, you lose all of the Jinjos, which was a problem that I did not foresee. So that means I'm actually gonna have to recollect all the Jinjos to actually get the Jinjo jiggy. Because I died and they, I guess they scatter about all over the place. So I just I got all the other I got the other three Jinjos off screen, but now I'm gonna be getting the other two Jinjos so I can get the Jinjo Jiggy. Because we are essentially done with Click Clock Wood. We got all the empty honeycomb pieces, we got all the notes. All that's left is actually two 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 jiggies. One for getting the Jinjos and one for one we just neglected to get, I guess. We didn't actually go and get it ever. Right? That makes sense. You know what I think I I think I I think I cut out me getting a gin I think I cut out me getting a jiggy off screen. That is the most incompetent thing of me ever. <laughs> well basically, um wow, that is bad. Um basically there's a jiggy on the very, very height of Click Flock Wood. You have to fly up there by either being a bee or just flying up there. But it exists, so go get it. I feel bad for not showing me getting it. Although, I, do I or don't I? I don't think I do. Obviously, I don't because I did preview this before I actually decided to record it. But just know it's up there. Um, <laughs> wow, that was bad. But um, I wonder how I lost it. Weird. Lost footage. Not like you can re-get jig jiggies anyways. But it's not that hard to miss. It's literally the highest place on this pla on Click Clock Wood. And you, you can't not miss it. It's, even if you, Especially if you're a bee because you have unlimited flight. Which is nice, by the way. And, yeah, you can do stuff. Neat. Like, fly badly. <laughs> um, so there's the fourth J Jinjo, and then we'll be getting the last Jinjo. I'm still, that is still bugging me. Or maybe I did get it off screen. Did I show myself getting a Jiggy off screen and I just talked over it? I don't think I did. Wow. Well, whatever. <laughs> that's, that's insignificant, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll just splice it in off screen and it'll be nothing. So, yeah, look out for that. <laughs> um, but anywho's, either way, for getting this Jinjo, there's our last Jiggy. And, yeah, we have all ten Jiggies now, yay! So that's, I guess, if I was competent at this game, I would have 99 Jiggies, but because, but because I'm file jumping all over the place, I think I only have, like, 98 Jiggies. But, just pretend I do have 99 Jiggies, because what we're going to be doing now is actually going out as a bee, because we're bee, a bee, this is the whole reason I didn't do the bee thing first, because we're a bee, we can go out into the grunty world and get our last, get our last, um, our last thing, what do you call it, our last Jiggy, right, in grunty's lair, because, you know, the witch switch and all that. So I will be, I guess, flying around randomly, I didn't even know branches were up here. But I will be cutting right to something. Do it now. Okay, here I am. I guess here is the greatest place to cut or not. I don't know. But anyways, out of the switch, and then we'll just fly up to get our last j j j jiggy, and that will be our 100th jiggy. And everything will be fantastic. Just pretend it says a. Just pretend you're about to see the word letter, the number nine. That's a dirty lie. Pretend that's a ten. So that's all the jiggies in Bandra Kazooie, hooray! So in the next part, we'll be taking on endgame stuff, but until then, this has been Skid Flash. Hope you've enjoyed watching. Bye!